Okay, uh, that's done. Excuse the drill in the background, sorry. Um, another just really frustrating time for Tottenham, isn't it? Um, for starters, Newcastle did deserve the point. They might have deserved more. They did. They did out shooters um, all game, and we're we're a really big threat, which is so annoying considering they're shite and they they are definitely going down, aren't they? And it's between them and Fulham. Um, you know, obviously Joe Linton was going to score. That was always going to happen. Um, and then thankfully we bounced back straight away, and Kane got two goals. You're thinking. Okay, fine, we can um, do this now and, and push on. But obviously not. And <laughs> it was weird because Vinicius came off, Son came on. You're thinking, right, we're now going to go for it. We're going to see the game out. Everything's going to be fine. And and we should have won it. We had a break. Lamella played it through to Kane. Kane slams it against the post. And I think 30 seconds later, Joe Willock, of all people, um, slam it in from a quite frankly a scramble really frustrating if you look at it you know we're still a point further away from Arsenal we're still a point closer to Chelsea we're two points off the top four with eight games left that is not a bad position to be in but it is a missed opportunity and it's sad especially with you know Liverpool's potential resurgence from yesterday and you know like we said Chelsea Arsenal Leicester all dropping points so it's frustrating it's not the end of the world I don't know why I, I get my hopes for every time and honestly I'm gonna the longer you look at this fucking spot the worse I feel so let's end it now and come on you fucking Spurs tell your dads fuck it all of that